Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. I'm in for a third video today, and today we have to free Marble from the evil spirits and dreams that are taking over and terrifying the poor souls in that peaceful little village. So I guess we have to give them a play and kill those bastard spirits with the sound of a beautiful wailing guitar in the vein of Dragon Force. Note that if you did not pick him to go uh, Storm Viper Manor with you early in the game, you cannot get him in your party no matter what. He's just a part of this scene right here. Also note, I'll be keeping my pie hole shut most of this video because there's a lot of plot and play or whatever the hell they're putting on uh, unfolding, so... Is someone thither? Or hither? Yeah, Manly Mariner, right. Uh, guys wearing rock boots and rock get-ups and cha assless chaps. I don't think the uh, Crusaders back in the 13th century were wearing assless chaps. Tis too sad a tale to tell. I put on my assless chaps and set forth one day. And lo and behold, I came about a t hamlet. And lo and behold, okay, I don't know. I'll let them tell the story. Now, if he says he has a song, I don't have a song. If he busts out a guitar from the back of his chaps in just a second and starts singing on cue, I'm going to get pissed, because I don't like liars. Wait! First explain to me what the hell this has to do with saving Marble! Ah, and he does have a guitar on the back of his assless chaps. Doesn't know how to play music my ass.
he plays the exact same riff. And they, they're hitting their hand to their hips while they dance along. She apparently has a rabbit tail as a ring. Alright, so let's get this part underway. The introduction has come and gone. It's time to kill some Lagoonates. Don't dance. Please don't do a fairy dance. Oh god. Kill me now. She told him to sing, he never sang. I just heard a guitar. That's no star. It's a meteor! Run! Sephiroth has come from another universe to summon- Okay, no. I guess not. Leave it to me to ruin the moment with some horrible piece of humor. Oh, of course. Speaking of which, I must return to my world, Planet Zarconia 4. To you, the travel will seem like five light years, or the equivalent of 250 Earth years. To me, I will not age a day. <laughs> oh. This entire scene is just weird to me. I know we have to go play music that the sage taught him to wake up the bad spirits or whatever in order to help kill the uh, to help the black dragon because he's being he is in a nightmare or whatever I know that what I don't know is why we're having a play who are we performing for like a surge in the back with like a martini like watching this thing or something or The crews, the vacationing tourists that were on the boat that we turned into soldiers to help us fight. Are they watching this or something? I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, okay. I guess we're watching. Oddly enough. No, Sprig. Why is Sprig in my party? Why is that old hag in my party? Dance to this is pretty jazzy. Bass kicks in. We then leave for our boat. 
made out of balloons tied together by rubber bands and spray painted blue. Arr, it's time to let me loose in Marbool. I kill all of them. No, I don't want you, Sprig. What the f No. What the fuck is this? Whatever. I, I don't mind Fargo. I don't want to use Sprig, though. <laughs> Music continues over here. 300 miles away. I think I'm done here. I'm going to be leaving here. Uh, bye, die, bye, townspeople. Enjoy dying. But don't, shouldn't you go get help for it? No, I'm out of here. Oh, thank God. All right. Get the hell. Get this old hag out of my party for good. I'll use Viper for right now. Let's see what the Smith here has for me. Hey! Thank you. Wait, who's talking to me? I hope you like it. I guess it's like the spirit of the great blacksmith. There we go. Alright, I guess that's it for right now. Oh, great blacksmith, I, I beseech you. Create me great weapons. There we go. There, alright. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Cool. Wait, did I allocate? I did allocate, alright. I'm ready. You're back. Um... I think I have to get rid of all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that off the clock. There's no reason for me to just show clips of me walking around the town running from fight to fight. So I will be right back when they are all dead. I did want to make a really quick announcement that it's really, really, really easy for Fargo to use Frog Prince in this fight because you fight a bunch of enemies and they always spam their blue skills. And once you get a full blue field... Damn it. You can use Summons. You have to have a full field to use the summon of its respective element, obviously. So let's go ahead and use Frog's Prince here. And I'm going to show you something about this. <laughs> and he dances his way to victory, I guess. Now, remember, these are blue innates. I just did 350 damage to a blue innate. That's pretty fucking amazing damage right there. But the useful thing is that... I got Shiny Dew for my using a summon, and whenever you use a summon, you get a nice reward at the end of battle. These are used to make rainbow weapons, along with the rainbow shells. You have to have some to use rainbow weapons. So I just want to point that out really quick. I will be right back again. Alright, so now that we finish all the battles, a dragon's cry was heard off in the far off distance. The far off distance being, of course, the other world's marble. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here and fight the dragon in the next video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. I am out.